Alright guys, it has been a while. I am back. Life has just been getting in the way. What can I say? Anyway, this is going out to a subscriber that requested this. How to get simply Nintendo games running on your Wii Flow with box art. I actually thought I did this video, but apparently we did not. So we're going to cover it today as quickly as possible, get you up and running, and playing games as soon as possible. Let's do it. Alright, to get the Nintendo Party started, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you got a formatted SD card. Alright, if this is your first system that you're installing on the Wii Flow. Now, if you got plenty of other systems, you probably already have it formatted and you're like, yeah, I just want to skip this part and get to the install. We'll get to that soon enough. Alright, number two, you already got your card formatted or you're ready to go and you just want to get rolling, make sure you got Wii Flow installed. I'll put a link to the video where it shows you how to actually do that but that is the application where all the magic happens that's where the box art actually looks really cool when it comes to life that's where the beauty of the box art really shines okay so if you've checked out the video you got we flow installed you got a card you're ready to go you're like yeah 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 let's get into this all right then you're on step three what we need to do is download and install the fce ugx emulator okay that's what's actually gonna run these awesome games from the 80s from the Nintendo console one of the best if not the best console of all time so let's start with that and let's get it done okay first thing we want to do is make sure you get into the we wrote org you gotta download the emulator that way you can actually play these games then we'll get to the box art we can load them up and they're gonna look sexy okay so FCE Ultra GX. Go over here to the download section right here under links. Click on download. Okay, so the latest and greatest is December 10th, 2016, 3.39. Go ahead and download zip file. Shouldn't take too long. You can save that. I got Firefox, so it's going to pop up here. Go ahead and extract all of that. There you go. So, you're going to get two folders, apps and FCE UGX, okay? Now, what we're going to do is put this on your SD card, and I'm going to show you exactly where to put it. All right, what I did here, guys, is on the left side, pretty much everything that I got installed, you can see right here on my SD card. And on the right side is what we just extracted after we downloaded 3.39 FCE Ultra GX from the website. So... On your main SD card, if you don't have an apps folder, just drag this apps right here that you extracted right on over. Okay. Now, if you do have an apps folder, pretty easy as well. Go into apps and you just drag over FCE UGX into the apps folder. Boom. Now that we got the emulator, the other thing you got to make sure is that you have a folder where you can put the games and your cheats and everything else. So that's what the second one is for, this one right here. So go ahead and drag the FCEU GX folder over into the root of your SD card. Let me resort that real quick. It's not sorting. There it goes. Okay, so, and under FCEU GX, you will see three folders, guys, and ROMs is the one that we are interested in. So let's go download some ROMs and put one in there, and let's get this box art and let's see what it actually looks like. Make sure it plays and configure Wii Flow. All right, we got SD card and we're underneath the FCE UGX folder, ROMs folder on the left and on the right. Got my ROMs downloaded. Of course, you download the ones that you want, the ones that you got, all that good stuff. Let's try Contra, right? Like, how can you go bad with Contra? I had to put that in the intro. Like, how can you go bad with Contra? That's like the ultimate Nintendo game. When you think of Nintendo, you think of Contra, right? <laughs> so anyway, once you get the ROM downloaded, it's going to be in a zip format, uh, or it can be in a .NES format. Uh, go ahead and put it in your FCEU GX ROMs folder, okay? That's first step. Second step, we have to go get the box art. So let's go download that. I'm going to have a link in the description, and I'm going to show you where to put it, though, okay? Yes, okay, so we have the game. And now we have all the box covers downloaded. So 
once you get this downloaded from the link that I put in the description okay go ahead and go under your G folder now once you get WeFlow installed and up and running you're gonna have a folder called WeFlow okay make sure you go through that thing carefully and ask me any questions if you get stuck WeFlow can be a little tricky but it's really simple as well it just you know you just have to kind of go slow anyway so go into box covers and we're gonna have to create a new folder in here so right click new folder and we're gonna call this FCE UGX so that we know what kind of you know box that we're putting in here all right so copy that over now these do have to match the name of the game so contra USA in parentheses dot zip dot PNG because the full name is dot zip dot PNG of course if you have a dot nest file it would be dot nest dot PNG okay also if you guys are running out of space uh, one of the subscribers sent me a tip PNGs do take up a lot of space JPEGs do not so if you convert these to JPEG you will save you know like one tenth the space as a PNG so if you want to use JPEGs that's fine and they'll actually load faster too I use PNGs uh, just because that's what I got and I'm too lazy to convert all of them <laughs> anyway uh, so now let's go configure the plugin and make sure that it points to the emulator that way it launches the game and uh, then we'll load up the Wii and we'll go from there what are we looking at what is going on on this window all kind of stuff all right on the left side I had a Snickers some kind of jazz I'm sorry guys <laughs> he said deal with me anyway on the left side we got the SD card under Wii Flow plugins and on the right side we have the apps FCUGX folder with its boot.doll. The reason I'm showing you this is because when you install WeFlow, it will come with its own uh, version of the F yeah, of the Nintendo or Famicom emulator. In this case, it is SUGX mod 12.doll. Okay. So what I did is I took this boot.doll and I dragged it over and I named it FCUGX 339.doll. Okay. So the reason is there may be some differences and you may not like the WeFlow version or you may not like the apps version, okay? Well, open up your FCUGX INI and WordPad. That is the configuration file to tell WeFlow where everything is for this emulator, okay? For example, display name. So when you checkbox this new emulator, it's going to be uh, titled something. And so you want to make sure that the one that you check is the one that, you know, is playing Nintendo. Okay, and I'll show you that in a minute. Cover folder. Where do the cover folders come from? Okay, now that path, keep this in mind, this is relative path, it's not absolute, which drives me bonkers. I don't know why they did that. But if you go under WeFlow, box covers, okay, remember we created this folder, SUGX, and in there we put this, okay? So it's WeFlow box covers slash what? And this is what you put right there, F-C-U-G-X, because that's the name of the folder, okay? So spelling and case are sensitive, so make sure that you spell it exactly there, okay? Now, WeFlow plugins. Now, the next one, of course, is the doll file. That's what we just talked about, which one do we want to use, okay? You can use the one that you just downloaded, that's going to be under the homebrew apps, or you can use the one that comes with WeFlow. Either one, just name it there. Now, interestingly enough, ROMDER is all the way from the root directory. This is where your games are, like Contra. So, SUGX, no, sorry, I'll go a little slower. SD card, okay, the root, SUGX, ROMs, and there's Contra, okay? So that's where it's actually gonna look. Okay, and then file types, uh, .zip is in there, so you don't need to change anything. If it wasn't, you know, you can just put the pipe .zip, okay, or pipe, whatever, just add to it. The pipe just separates them. Okay, so they mean .nes, .nsf, all these different formats. Pretty cool. All right, console covers and things like that, you can just leave it as blank. And that's pretty much it. And once you're done, go ahead and save it. And then we'll get into the next part. All right, guys, you got your SD card out. You've put it back into the Wii. Now, you can go to a homebrew channel and launch FCUGX, but we want to see that box art. By the way, I dumped a whole bunch of other ROMs in there. I didn't put no box art, so, you know, we'll probably see just Contra <laughs> with box art and a whole bunch of games. Anyway, uh, go ahead and launch your Wii Flow. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it up. 
and uh, you know launch your games. All right. Hopefully this doesn't uh, take too long. I've been trying to figure out how to cut some of my videos down a little bit, so you know my editing skills are getting a little better. But we'll see. <laughs> um, there it is, Nintendo. Go ahead and launch your Nintendo Entertainment System plugin. Oh yeah, there it is, Contra. Now, if you don't see this, let's say you come in here and uh, for the first time, what it may do is ask you, you know, a couple questions. There, got it. Yes. Okay. So when you get in here, this is probably the first thing it's going to ask when you click on Nintendo. Okay. So the game partition will probably say USB or SD. Go ahead and select SD. Okay. Um, if it's on your SD card, obviously. If it's not, then leave it on USB. Uh, for plugins, what you want to do is remember when we were looking at the name of the plugin and we were trying to figure out uh, what to call it, and you can call it whatever you want in the INI file. So in here, oh, too far. No. Oh, this delay is killing me. I'm trying to record at the same time and it's delayed. Computer is old. All right, there we go. I got it. Clickety click. Okay, so FCU Ultra GX. So that's what you named it in that INI file under WeFlow plugins, the or FCU GX.ini. So just make sure that you checkbox the, the one that you named it. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it FUBAR for all I care. <laughs> There's several other pages. They're pretty much intuitive, you know, resolution, sound, box art, scaling, and stuff like that. I usually leave it as default. But anyway, once you select that, you'll get this screen here. Um, you may or may not see the Contra or whatever box art you loaded. Um, so what you'll have to do, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So what you'll have to do is once you are in the screen, just hit the home button, okay? And you'll see the screen up here. Now what you're gonna have to click is at the very top, you'll see reload cache, okay? And all that will do is tell it to go back into the box art folder and reload all of the JPEGs, PNGs, or whatever you got, okay? So just click it. It'll take like a little second. Um, <laughs> actually, I named them all Contra. Anyway, what you'll get is the box art will then load for each of the uh, ROMs that you've loaded. Uh, don't mind my screen, okay? I was playing around and I named all the ROMs Contra just for fun. I was kind of goofing around, so. Make sure it actually plays. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. And just click on play and let's check it out. Contra. Oh, let me see. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Start. Did I get 30? Yes! Ho oh, ho boy! After all this time, I can still do it! So anyway guys, uh, this is going out to one of our subscribers that requested this. Hope this was helpful. Uh, if not, or if I skip something or I miss something, you know, ask away guys. That's what we're here for. You know, shoot the questions to us and we'll do our best. Uh, so thanks again to everybody who watches these. And thank you so much for your support. Don't, for, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like. And uh, until then, guys, keep on gaming. Laters.